Today, we're going to look at using the Google Sheets component for Matillion ETL. So, let's get started. Today, I'm going to show you how to bring through some data from a Google spreadsheet, which is stored on your Google Drive. We're going to use this carrier spreadsheet as an example. So here you can see we've got information on aeroplane carriers. We've got the carrier codes along with the carrier names. So now let me flick into Matillion and I can show you how to configure this. So the Google Sheets query component is available within an orchestration job. We can simply select the Google Sheets query component and drag it onto the screen where we require. After connecting it up to the start component, we are now ready to configure the properties of it. So the first thing I need to select is the authentication for Matillion to access the files on Google Drive. So here I can select from my dropdown the authentication that I set up earlier. This needs to be set up in the project menu under Manage OAuth. Further details on this is available on our support center. I can now give the name of the sheet exactly as it appears on my Google Drive. I'm now prompted to give whether the top row is a header. So in this example, there, were no, there was no header available. I can give a cell range to limit the cell range of data that Matillion brings through if required. And now I'm ready to give my data source. So here, Matillion is connecting into my file on, on my Google Drive and it's listing all of the sheets available. So I can bring through data from sheet one or sheet two, or, or I can bring through data about the spreadsheet itself using the spreadsheet's data source. So in this example, I'll bring through data from sheet one. I'm now prompted to give my data selection so which columns of data I want to bring through, and these will form my new table. So let's bring them all through. This ID column has been added for me by Matillion, and this just gives me the row number for the row of data. Here I can choose to add a data source filter if I require, and I can also change the limit in here as well. So let's bring through all the data. Now I'm prompted to give an S3 staging area to stage the data via an S3 bucket. Now I'm prompted to give the name of a new table that Matillion will create for us in the database. So now that component has turned green, I can simply right click and I can choose to run this component. We can monitor the progress of the run at the task pane in the bottom here. We can see that Matillion has staged all of that data up from my Google Sheets file into a file in an S3 bucket, and then it's copied the contents of that file down into my database. And it took under 10 seconds to do this. So now I can view this data in a transformation job. So I can bring the data in using a table input component. I can bring through that Google Sheets carriers table that I've just created. Let's have all columns from this. And then we can sample this data. So we can see we've got our row ID, we've got our carrier ID and our carrier name there. And now I can harness the power of Matillion to transform this data as I require. So in this particular example, these column names aren't particularly user friendly. So I'm going to use the transform component rename to rename these. So in the component, let's bring through all columns. Let's call this ID the row number. Column A was our carrier code. 
and column B was our carrier name. So now I can sample this and I can see here I've got my data and the header names are more user friendly.